Gloria Day is a creative, joy-filled, and generous community. As we've gathered throughout the fall, one thing has become clear. It is go time at Gloria Day. In this stewardship season, let's learn about generosity from some of our friends. Hi, I'm Jeff Wills. Hi, I'm Cindy Wills. Kathy Fuqua. Adam Dickinson. What I love about Gloria Day is the fellowship that we have here, um, all the people, the friends. I like the traditional um, worship service that we have here. Um, kind of brings me old home feelings, I guess, um, and always certainly feel at home here at Gloria Day. All right, so Gloria Day, I love everything about Gloria Day. Uh, but most of all, I just love the inclusive atmosphere that it brings for all ages, all people. And uh, something you hear every week when we do communion about how this is for all people, and that's the basis of our church. How it's for the community, it's for the people that are already here, the people that aren't here, the people that are first time here. And that has always resonated well with myself and my family. I love the fact that it feels like home to me. Our kids did the church shopping for us when we moved here 15 years ago. We wanted a place for them to feel at home and have the same sort of connection to church that we had as youngsters. And they found this place and it was, granted it would have been where I would have picked too, but they picked it and that's where we came to be 15 years ago. And it's just been awesome. Um, my husband died five years ago suddenly in an accident and uh, coming here was really hard to do afterward but it was what I needed to do and I could be home and authentic in the way that I could cry and um, be around people who showed me love and just really made that process uh, doable and bearable and it's just been a nice place and a comforting place to be. We see we see God every week in the family that's here at the service, but how much Gloria Day looks to the outside as part of our ministry. We care about our members, we care about our internal family, but we spend a lot of our time looking outward into the community and, and how do we include those people as part of our inclusivity, but how do we help those that aren't here and, and, and that need the love of Christ and need the love of God in their lives. Some of the examples I've seen where God is at work here is when you're implementing a, a change that's going to create controversy or could create controversy. And I like the way the, the team here at Gloria Day, uh, be it the board members or be it the pastoral team, is welcoming and open to feedback, good or bad. And they're not here to strong arm their approach and shove it you know, in people's faces. They want, they want to get honest feedback and opinions and, and thoughts. I also think that when you see young children coming into the facility here, into the church, and happy and excited to be here, that's a reflection that we're doing something right here. Oh gosh, through the Sundays when I see the kids come up with communion supp supplies and things, that's just God at work for sure. Um, through the, the backpack ministries and the, uh, the college care packages that my kids got in college that were reminders to them that the church is thinking of them and what a wonderful thing to be thought of when you're in college, having a stressful time. Anytime that a need has arisen, I've gotten emails and I know other people from our congregation have too. If, um, if they realize somebody's car is broken down or a high school student needs supplies and doesn't have things or if somebody's moving and is all out of uh, doesn't have what they need, the email goes out and within a day, I'm quite sure, if not a couple of days, those needs are met and people are just so generous with their giving and that is definitely a sign of God at work here. My passion with Glory Day is, is the outward focus, but we can't do it without the help of those that are here and, and the generosity helps us look external and help the community and help others uh, that need to see God's love. And we can't do it without the, the contributions, both financially and, and people's time, and people's dedication. And um, Gloria Day makes it easy to get involved, uh, to be part of that team uh, with that outward focus. And again, anyone that's new here, you pick up on it quickly, 
of how, how outwardly focused we are, but again, we need everyone's help to do that why they should be generous is because it comes back to you. I mean, anytime you give, it's more about, it's more about what I get from doing that than what the person receives on the other end. I feel that the, the financial obligation of, of a, a new member joining, um, he or she or they should realize that the input that they provide from a financial perspective will be well managed and well taken care of from an output perspective, and you'll see the results of that um, on, a, on a daily, weekly basis here. I did, after many reminders. But I did I did complete a card last year, yes. How did it feel to you? Uh, very rewarding uh, to reconfirm that everything that I believe in this church and in this congregation, this community at Glory Day is doing exactly what I want, want and what's important for my family's uh, priorities. Um, and it's a reminder of what we are able to accomplish uh, with this community. What a generous community. We've met every challenge through an unprecedented season of pandemic protocols and shutdowns. We've now come together again as one joy-filled, spirit-led, and forward-thinking community caring for our neighbors and one another. Now is the moment for us to live into a wide open future God has in store for us. It is go time at Gloria Day. Our goal for this year's annual stewardship campaign is to increase generosity to our operational fund by $3,000 per week. This is ambitious and it will allow us to accomplish three unique goals. Over the past year, our ministry, programs, activities, and outreach has increased and changed lives, thanks in part to our wonderful staff. We are staffed for growth for the first time in three years, yet we live in an era with rising costs and inflation. Together we can meet the challenge of the moment, remain competitive with the broader workforce, and continue to faithfully extend the reach of Gloria Day. We will use the proceeds from the impending sale of our land in Northwest Rochester to reduce the debt on our building mortgage. This means we will only be $70,000 away from burning our building mortgage and being debt free. It's go time for a mortgage burning bonfire. Finally, we are in a multi-year overhaul of our children, youth, and family ministry programming. Due in large part to the pandemic, your generosity will allow us to support our Sunday Bible adventure with new energy and curriculum, add middle school and high school youth events, and improve parent programming as well. It's go time at Gloria Day as we live into the wide open future that God has in store for us. Here's what you can do next. By November 14th, you should receive a statement of intent card in the mail. Think pray and discern how God might be calling you to grow in generosity. Then bring your statement of intent card to worship on Commitment Sunday, November 20th. You can also mail your intent card to the church or fill it out digitally on our website. We love Gloria Day and we are passionate about this community. It's go time as we live into the future together.